Fab is Tina and Andy from Hungry by Nature. And today we're going to talk about 31 essential tips you must know before traveling to Bali with kids. Now guys, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more family friendly travel guides. You ready to get into it? Let go. Let's do it. Watch out for dodgy exchange places offering rates too good to be true. They're usually exchange places partnered with other businesses and shops. Avoid. For the next point, don't forget to bring your smartphones to Bali because... Guys, make sure you get the Gojek app. Now this app is really, really handy for getting a quick ride, food delivery, and even mail courier service. Download the Grab app and order a Grab cart if you are unsure about taxis. There's our Grab taxi. <laughs> Time to hit up the beach. Yay! Some popular areas don't permit Grab due to taxi mafia. Drop or pick up nearby on a quiet street. If you can't find a metered taxi, make sure you haggle the crap out of the driver. Otherwise, jump into Bluebird taxis and make sure they turn on the meter. Also, watch out for fake Bluebird taxis. You can tell them by the colour of the paint, it's usually different. Get a driver to explore parts of the island at a set price, usually between 600 and 700,000 rupiah for the day, plus tips. If you're going to rent a scooter, Make sure to be careful riding on the main roads and getting scanned by police. Our ride today, our chauffeur's here. Be careful using ATMs as skimming is common. We recommend withdrawing from banks, hotels or from the airport. Don't drink or brush your teeth with barley water. Make sure you buy bottled water. Ice cubes in restaurants and hotels are generally safe and government controlled. Supermarkets and convenience stores sell basic nappies, wipes and formulas, but there's not much in way of baby food and snacks, so make sure you bring your own. Now there aren't many baby facilities in Bali, so things such as baby change rooms, baby feeding rooms, feeding booths, make sure to be prepared for that while you're there. Be careful of barley belly and mosquitoes. One of our kids got barley belly and the other one got some kind of mosquito-borne virus. Not pleasant. Guys, if you need to go see a doctor, make sure you go to an international one as they speak good English and they provide great medical care. Keep in mind that it will cost about 500,000 rupees for a consultation. For blood tests and other medication, it will cost extra. Rips, undercurrents and big waves are common all across Bali. Make sure you watch your kids at the beach at all times. Beaches on the west side of Bali are generally more choppier and suited for surf. If you want more family friendly beaches, head towards the east side such as Sunua. Quick tip for getting a SIM card in Bali, make sure it covers the entire island. Internet speeds in Bali can be quite slow, so if you want fast, reliable internet, make sure to go to co-working spaces. Tipping is not mandatory in Bali, but if you feel like the service was up to standard, feel free to leave a tip and everyone will be happy. Make sure you either pack or buy a sarong when you're in Bali. A lot of temples require both guys and girls to wear them. If you plan to stay longer than 30 days, make sure you guys get a visa. And if you can, try and avoid Bali in the months of July, August and December and January because that's when major school holidays are all over the world. The best time to go is March and September. It's low season and things are cheaper. Rubbish can be a big problem in Bali, so prepare yourself mentally and don't expect those spotless beaches you see on Instagram. Prepare to see 
a lot of trash on the beaches, especially after rainy season. So try and avoid plastics and bring a reusable bottle. At some temples, you'll find a holy man or a supposed guardian offering you a blessing only to find out in the end he demands payment. They're not really holy men. Bali is usually busy all year round. So make sure you book your accommodation nice and early to make sure you get your first preference. Drink all the smoothies and smoothie balls in Bali. They are fresh, exotic and absolutely delicious and healthy. Kids will love them. It's recommended that babies from 12 months as well as adults get the Hep A immunization before visiting Bali. Can. <laughs> Don't smile at monkeys inside the monkey forest. Showing teeth is apparently a sign of aggression and they may attack you. And those were our 31 essential tips that you guys need to know before visiting Bali as a family. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please show us some love by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you haven't already for more family friendly videos like this. Let us know in the comments below, which one would you rather? 30 minutes walking in the Bali heat or two hours with a smelly taxi driver? Which one? Let us know in the comments below. Until then, see you in the next vid, guys. Have a vibe. Angry, hungry. Yes, I'm angry.